Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a project share slash layout share. Um, I don't have that many just plain layouts, 12 by 12, um, but I do have Project Life that I want to share. I have uh, 12 by 12 layouts in my Project Life album, and I have my COVID album that I've been using and documenting in over the past couple of months to document the first, uh, I guess, the first six months of quarantine. Um, and I've been sharing that over on my Patreon. Um, and so I'm excited. I want to go ahead and jump in. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. So go grab yourself a drink and a snack and let's hang out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Most of these layouts are either from live videos here on my YouTube channel or videos from Patreon. So this one was from a Patreon video, um, and it's Emily just goofing around, <laughs> and I used one of the older Coco Vanilla Studio Collections for that. Um, I believe that this was also a YouTube, not a YouTube, I believe that this was a Patreon video as well, um, and I used the new, or the newer Doodlebug Fall Collection, um, and... I make, I love this. I used a stencil with some um, glitz glitter gel there and I used a die to cut this like little frame to go around the picture of Maggie. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun creating this layout. Next up, this one was a video on my YouTube channel. It is a double page layout. Um, I am always getting questions about doing double page layouts and I do them um, every once in a while I do them um, so be on the watch out for those but yeah I used a whole bunch of I used a die and I cut up a, a whole bunch of hearts um, and I inked them with my distress colors um, and I love the way this layout came out I think it's just super fun, super cute, and all of the things. So there is a video for that on my channel. Um, this layout, oh my gosh, y'all, if you were not there for the live, it was a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of input from the people that were there for the live. This was a live on my YouTube channel. I do lives every Thursday now. I think I've been doing it for a month now and it's been a lot of fun. So if you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you follow me on one of those. I always do reminders of what time I'm gonna be live on Thursdays. Um, and this week I'm actually gonna be live Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So watch out for that. Um, but this was a lot, a lot of fun to create. And I used my kit that I created live from my stash uh, about a month ago. So that was fun to create. But it is on replay, so you can go back on my YouTube channel and watch it if you're interested. This layout actually was done for my Patreon scrap party. Um, so for the month of February, we had our scrap party and I did this layout live and I stamped out all of these hearts and I fussy cut them. Um, that took a long time. So that live was uh, quite long. We hung out for a while, um, and but we had a lot of fun. So yeah, I really, really love this layout and I love the larger photo. Um, this was one of the challenges for the scrap party. Um, and so, yeah. This one, I believe I created for a live for Patreon as well. This is using the Coco Vanilla Studio, I think it's Daydream Collection or Daydreamer. I can't remember the exact name. Um, but these are some of my patrons during some of our crafty hangouts, which we haven't done in a couple months. Um, just because I've been super busy and I've just been doing lives instead. Um, but definitely need to do a new one soon because they're a lot of fun. Um, so the, this is a photo, this is a photo, and then this is a photo. They're like, they're screenshots from each of our 
crafty hangouts. So that was a lot of fun to create. Um, I believe this one was also for Patreon. Um, and this is Greg, my husband. I love the way this layout came together. Um, and I love the background. I don't know if you guys can see that silver, the silver splatters. Um, I used the Lawn Fawn Liquid Stardust. I just squirted it on my glass mat and used a paintbrush and did splatters. And I just absolutely love the way that looks. Um, I also did that on this one as well. So you can see it on the darker backgrounds really, really well. And I love it. Next up, <laughs> this one was a live for Patreon as well. And I just absolutely had a lot of fun creating this layout. This was for one of the challenges for the scrap party last month too. And it was a lot of fun creating. Um, again, it was something that took a while because I inked all of the edges of all of these little banners and I cut all of the banners out myself by hand. Um, but it was a lot of fun creating this live. Um, and I got to use up an older Chamel paper for my background, which was really fun um, because that's been in my stash for years. <laughs> so it was nice to use something um, older with some, you know, newer products from L Studio. So, um, yeah. And now I'm going to go through my Project Life album and show you guys what I have so far. Um, there are 12 by 12 layouts in here as well. So here we have week one. I know that there is going to be a glare, um, but I'm not going to take all of these individual cards out. That would take forever. Um, <laughs> so this is week one. There is a video for each and every one of my Project Life um, pages. So if you want to check those out here on my YouTube channel, um, I post my Project Life videos every Tuesday. Um, so that is a lot of fun. Here's week two. Um, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. I just, because I do have videos for each one. So this is just a project share. Um, and here is a layout that I created um, for a YouTube channel. No, this might've been for Patreon actually. Uh, I believe this was for Patreon. Um, and I did, or no, it was, I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it might be on my YouTube channel. Um, I did a lot of mixed media, a lot of mixed media. Um, and this was influenced by Mari Clark. My mixed media part was. Um, so yeah, there is a video for this on my YouTube channel. So check that out. Up next, this is um, a fun layout that I created. Again, I did a lot of mixed media in the background um, and I used some of my homemade embellishments that I created for the month of January for my patrons. Um, and down here, I used some epoxy flares and I just absolutely love like the soft colors of this layout. I think this is one of my favorite layouts that I've done recently. Um, I just love it. And then we have a week, what week is this? Oh, week three. <laughs> and I used one of the older um, doodle bug collections. It was a winter collection, I believe from last year. And then I also used a couple L Studio cards and puffy hearts. I also brought in some sequins from Catherine Puller and some acrylic pieces. Um, and I have a whole video on this video as well, or on this layout. So here, this was actually done for my patrons as an extra video for them, um, because it really didn't take me that long to create. I had printed, um, I printed off, I'm sorry, <laughs> the poem that was read at the inauguration from Amanda Gorman. And so I wanted to share the whole poem because I really loved it. And I, when I watched it, it brought me to tears. So um, I printed it off and it just goes from here to here to here, 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 then here, then here, then here. <laughs> and then it's done. <laughs> um, but I added a little like tip in here and I used, um, I believe this collection was from Echo Park. 
Um, it's a, like a 4th of July collection. So I just wanted to document the inauguration. And then here I'm going to do a layout, but I haven't done it yet with some photos. And then this layout I created live during one of the live Scrap and Chats for my Patreon, or not Patreon, for my YouTube. So there is a video on my YouTube channel for this one. And again, this was using the kit that I created last month from my stash. Next up, we have week four. And this week, I love this spread. I love all of like the kind of muted colors um, or the rich dark colors. And the photos in this week just make me happy. This Bernie Sanders photo or meme or whatever, I don't know what you would call it. It just makes me laugh every time I see it. And I just absolutely love it. So, yeah. <laughs> and then we have week four. Or no, week five. Was that week? Yeah, week five. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and again, I used an older collection for this. Um, and this one was a lot of fun to create as well. There is a video on my channel. And then here, I want to document some of my coffee. And this was the same week. Um, and then here is week six. Um, and I used my January L Studio Kit to create this spread. And I used some little wood veneers from my friend Shadney. And I used um, some of her sequins mix and some L Studio Puffy Hearts. Next up, week seven, I used a kit that I created from some Felicity Jane products that I had, some older products and some scrap pieces. So this one was a lot of fun to create because there's a lot of journaling one, but I just created um, using older products and scrap pieces. So it was a lot of, it was, it was unique. It was different. And then lastly, this video just went live this Tuesday. Um, and this was using the February L Studio kit. And so there is a video for this one on my YouTube channel as well. So all of my project life, like I said, is posted on my YouTube channel. Um, so you guys get access to all of that. All right. So next up, I want to show you guys what I've been doing with my coronavirus album. Um, this is a Heidi Swap storyline chapters insert. Um, they come with albums that they go in. And this is just the insert. So all of these pages have been documented. Um, and I've done videos for every single page except for the title page. And they're all posted on my Patreon. So my patrons really do, they get all of the stuff that's in their tiers. Plus I do extra videos for them each month. And we have live videos, scrap parties with challenges, um, you're entered to win prizes. There's just so many great benefits to becoming a patron and becoming part of that community. So if that sounds fun to you, um, we are, we have like a kind of like a special thing running right now. Michelle from my little scrapbook store is doing a $5 credit to her store when you sign up to become a patron. So if you sign up to become a patron at the $5 level, then you're going to get that $5 back for her online store, scrapbooking store. So if you're interested, I'll have the link down below. So this is the first page. I decided not to put anything on this page um, just because, I don't know, I just didn't want to. So for the most part, I'm using the Simple Stories Quarantined Collection so far um, throughout this album. So I printed off the North Carolina Stay at Home Order um, and I printed it on photo paper um, and did some documenting there. Here is the next page um, with my me making masks and then searching for toilet paper that first, I don't know, the first couple of weeks um, of quarantine. And then Emily doing homeschool and I did a little um, flip out here. I need to do my journaling. I still haven't went back and done that yet. And then we have this page, which is actually um, about to be posted on Patreon next week. <laughs> so they haven't even got uh, this video yet. So 
Um, this was, these are just some of the shows that either I have binge watched during quarantine or Greg and I both have binge watched during quarantine. Um, and I did a smaller page. I just cut it down here. And that is that. I also have an art journal page. I think just one to share. No, actually I actually have two, I believe. Um, so a couple months back, I did a series on my Patreon for art journaling. And so this was one of the pages that I did for them. Um, and then this one is the other one. So you can see all of those like little clear drops. Those are all done by Nuvo Drops. I did them by hand. <laughs> um, and so that was a lot of fun. And I'm going to be doing some more art journaling soon and putting it on my Patreon as well as just extra videos. All right, so that is it. That is my uh, project share. That is all of the projects that I have been creating over the past couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.